My name is E. Lockhart, and I'm a writer. You might know my books, Genuine Fraud and We Were Liars. What you might not know about me is that when I sit down to write a book, I really often think that I cannot do it, that I don't know how to write, that I have nothing to say. But I persevere, and in the process of writing, I find my voice. I figure out that I do have something to say. Sometimes I don't figure it out until several, several drafts in, but I do eventually figure it out. I write because the process of communicating the inside of my head to the inside of your head is one of the most exciting human things that we can do. We can use words, um, printed words, to reach across oceans, to reach across generations. For me, that's really thrilling. I became a writer when I wrote an imitation of my favorite book, Astrid Lindgren's Pippi Longstocking. And it was fan fiction, basically. And I, my dad typed it up, and we photocopied uh, all these copies, and we made silkscreen covers of the book. And uh, we gave them to all of my friends and neighbors. It's, it's very long. But it was the first time that anyone took my writing seriously, and, um, and the first time I was ever able to share my my writing with a, a wider audience than just you know my mom and my dad. So it was a very powerful experience. I want to encourage you to be a writer because everybody's voice deserves to be heard. And in order to make your voice heard, you have to find your voice. And in order to find your voice and let it be heard, whether you want it to be heard in a courtroom, whether you want it to be heard uh, as a professional of some other sort, whether you want it to be heard um, in a classroom as a teacher, whether you want it to be heard as a writer or some other kind of creative person, an artist, a musician, or just as a human being. Everybody deserves to be heard, and writing is one of the truest ways to um, figure out what your voice is, to practice uh, making it effective and powerful, to express what's inside of you, to let all of that that's in your head go out into the world.